What can tell you it's time to eat without ever talking and stands by your side but never gets tired of you and will alert you when your blood sugar spikes or drops? A dog. Yeah. But yeah. not just any dog. It's a special dog that is actually trained to alert their diabetic handlers if their sugar levels get dangerously high or dangerously low. And for one lucky boy, this was just the companion he needed to change his life forever. My son Sean was six years old when he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. He was really hungry and drinking a lot, and then he started having headaches, stomach aches, and that was when we knew that something was wrong. The hardest part about having diabetes is controlling my blood sugar. We test Sean's blood sugar at least 10 times a day. We have had several close calls. One in particular, he had gone to bed. About two hours later, I went and tested him, and his blood sugar was in the 30s, just something that um, makes me panic where I can't check on them during the night, you could end up in a coma or worse. I was online and I read about a company called Dre's Alert Dogs, and they specifically raise and train British Labradors to detect high and low blood sugars. The dogs are especially helpful with children because a lot of times children can't sense when their sugars are changing. When the diabetic goes above 180 or below 80, the dog will call them to make them aware that there's a problem. They smell the chemical change, the sugar changing within the, the person's body. So Dre's Alert Dogs matched um, Sean up with Fielder. Sean is so ecstatic. He has been counting down the days. I can't wait to take her home. I'm really, 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 really super excited. The day Sean had been looking forward to finally arrived. Let's take a look at Sean meeting Fielder for the first time. Sean is meeting Fielder for the first time today. You know, I think the biggest challenge for Sean is feeling isolated by himself. He feels kind of different from everybody else. Fielder is going to make Sean's quality of life so much better. I'm really excited to meet Fielder. <laughs> Sean, are you ready to meet Fielder? We got to see Sean meet Fielder for the first time. It was it was pretty overwhelming, pretty emotional. Sean was just had the biggest smiles on his face, just so happy. It was really nice to see him trying to bond with all the boys here and running around having a good time with other kids with type 1 diabetes. Fielder's been doing great so far with alerting. So I do think this is gonna make our lives a lot easier. That's what makes it all worth it. I don't think he'll have the worry of going to sleep at night, and I don't think his mom will have the worry of wondering if her child's okay. I'm very excited to take her home. 